look at this guy right here. Look what I'm wearing. Welcome to Price Paul. This is Mike. And yes, I have the new Arms Race Nutrition Harness Evolution Supplement in the orange Julian flavor. A little backstory to this. We're back from the Arnold and we got to hang out with this gentleman right here. He had a great time and everything. On our podcast before all that, we had David Dodrell on uh, who let us leak the label here, but we never really did a full deep dive or tasting. So that's what I'm here for right now. Now this orange Julian flavor, let's just bust into it and then let's talk about the story. The backstory is that apparently Julian Smith here did not know this flavor was coming. And so we were given access to the labels, told we could post everything online and I posted them on the blog and then I was told take them down take them down because it wasn't supposed to leak that that quickly so hopefully Julian didn't see that we uh kind of leaked the orange Julian flavor I'm not a huge citrus guy so when I see like orange I like to have orange mango mixed in but let me tell you what's one thing that's better than orange mango kind of flavors orange creamsicle this is very heavy very sweet very heavy on a creaminess it's like the orange Julian I think you know what they kind of went for here and they nailed it they crushed it Man, that's they, they did, that's a fantastic job. I don't think I've had an orange cream supplement in anything that's good. Even like the protein powders out there. Not that I'm having tons of those. This flavor is amazing. So this formula is obviously more advanced version of Harness. I have a Harness tub here as well. Two scoops Harness Evolution, 24 grams or so, 24.5 grams. And then two scoops of regular Harness is just 14 grams. So we're getting extra stuff here. The stem blend is more or less the same. About the same amount of caffeine in the OG Harness. They, they switch up a little bit of the, the extended release caffeine here you have a little bit more extended release here obviously a lot more pumps more beta alanine more ergogenics so that's what they're going for but harness isn't going away for more of your daily driver harness might be the go-to those big days harness evolution or those big months harness evolution is the upgrade that you can make but i don't think it's intended that you're going to be using it like literally every single day for your life although this flavor system honestly is dangerous <laughs> like this is one of those flavors that you could just drink and not realize you just took down 400 milligrams of caffeine so that's a, that's where we're going to start with the uh, caffeine blend we have in two scoops 300 milligrams of caffeine and then we have 150 milligrams of zoom xr i believe that's extended release so zoom xr is a an extended release form of caffeine they also have delayed release which hits you all at once at a delay but this is extended release which lengthens out the hit of the caffeine it's a 70 percent yield so we have roughly about another 100 milligrams of caffeine or so and then this is going to be at a total of 400 milligrams of caffeine per two scoops so with this formula right off the bat you know they're off to something big because they're doing 6.4 grams of beta to alanine. And I remember we were drinking this on the show on the show floor at the uh, Arnold. I was tingling pretty quickly. You don't need a whole lot to get the tingles going. Don't worry, not harmful or anything like that. But anyway, so beta alanine is a precursor and it's used alongside of your the amino acid histidine. Those combine to produce more carnosine. Carnosine is stored in your muscles and that is used to buff, buffer out the lactic acid so that you can last a little bit longer. There's an endurance effect. Question is, we usually see 3.2 grams in a, a, a pre-workout and we often see the studies are 3.2 grams per day. So why 6.4 grams? Well, apparently there's a few more studies and we cite them in the blog post. We'll link to that in the YouTube description, but there's a few studies that show you can get to carnosine, uh, the carnosine saturation even faster, especially within the first two to four weeks, which is perfect for a run of a pre-workout supplement. And the, the whole name of the game here, it's kind of like creatine. We're trying to get to uh, saturation levels. In this case, with carnosine, taking more will get you there faster. And I don't like to say we'll get you there. The studies show that, that saturation levels do build up quicker with, with higher doses, but with that's going to come a little bit more tingles. What's really cool is that you could almost just do a single scoop like I am right here, and you're still going to get clinical doses of a lot of stuff. For instance, the next ingredient is LC citrulline and l-citrulline is six grams in two scoops so three grams in one scoop three grams alone is a clinical dose and this is precursor to l-arginine which is the precursor to nitric oxide so this is our nitric oxide ingredient but it's not the only nitric oxide ingredient because harness evolution boosts it up a lot more so we've talked about citrulline a zillion times on this channel you should be pretty familiar with it so with this dose of citrulline a lot more nitric oxide production and that increases blood flow that it can increase power that can increase recovery all the good stuff that we like to talk about with nitric oxide so even may even like give you a little bit of a lower like type of you know blood pressure lowering effect as well but that's really not what we directly use it for but also that could bring with the more blood flow brings more nutrient delivery as well so we love we love nitric oxide boosters on this channel and of course that means get a bigger pump after that you have a full 2.5 gram dose of betaine and hydrus we see this all the time and that's in two scoops we see this all the time in pre-workout supplements as well betaine being an osmolite also known as trimethylglycine 
lysine. And uh, there's a lot of research on the 2.5 gram dose, both in men and women, showing increased uh, body composition, improved muscle mass, decreased fat mass, and there's a really good weight loss study in women as well at 2.5 grams per day. We also sometimes, if you drink enough water with this, get that osmolite water pump too, because it helps with improving osmotic pressure amongst cells. And so just slamming as much water as we can into the cells as the blood flows driving in there. And betaine is a great ingredient for that. Uh, there's a whole lot more that this can that it can help with. So yeah, we love seeing betaine in supplements, and it's almost become like ubiquitous alongside a citrulline. Let's keep going. We have two gram dose of tyrosine. Now this the the tyrosine dose is pretty solid here. We've seen higher. Yes, there's a couple that that go higher, but generally they're oftentimes a lot lower. They're usually between 500 and 1500 milligrams. Arms race went with two grams here, and so this is going to help your body produce more of the neurotransmitters like dopamine, norepinephrine, epinephrine, and uh, help with a little bit of a focused response. And tyrosine is also used as a precursor for your thyroid hormones as well. So sometimes we talk about that as well. We kind of forget about the weight loss benefits that could be there if your thyroid does not have the tools it needs to make its hormones. Things can become sluggish. Tyrosine can definitely help with that. Finally, there's a lot of research with a tyrosine helping with, especially alongside of caffeine, but helping with sleep defri deprivation. So if you're sleep deprived, you know, try to get your sleep, of course. We're not going to you know, say to throw drugs and supplements at things, but tyrosine and caffeine can definitely help if you had a bad night's sleep. So tyrosine helps reduce the stress that goes into life, really. And so there's a lot of research. The military actually took a lot of interest into the sleep de deprivation thing because militaries are often sleep deprived. It works incredibly well. Now after that, we go into more pumps. This is one that we don't have in the regular harness, but we have a 1.5 gram clinical dose of nitrosagene and nositol stabilized arginine silicate from Nutrition 21. We've spoken about it many times in this channel. Way back in the day, we were hoping, like way back in the day, mid 2000s, when pre-workouts started coming out, arginine was the ingredient. The issue is that arginine is not orally bioavailable. You need like very large doses of it to get it to, to kind of overcome that and to get it to do the job of creating more nitric oxide. However, those large doses of regular L-arginine, they're a gut punch, if not worse, like six, eight grams. Like even the studies show like there's a lot of bad, not like adverse events, but like GI events. So Nutrition 21 saw an opportunity here and they patented nitrosagene. And so they are stabilizing the molecule and what the, the mechanism is that it is an, actually an arginase inhibitor. And so it helps stop the body's breakdown response of arginine, keeping the arginine along long enough so that it can get converted into nitric oxide as opposed to broken down and causing gut issues. So you only need 1.5 grams. And a research study has shown that 1.5 grams of nitrosagene is equivalent. Actually, nitrosagene is a little, a little bit better, but that wasn't statistically significant, but equivalent to eight grams of citrulline malate. So what we have here are two very, very good pumps supplements. One's a little bit more direct with the nitrosagene going directly into nitric oxide production, whereas citrulline gets digested into, well, not digested, but it gets converted into arginine in the kidneys, and then that gets into nitric oxide. So you kind of have like a, a, a two-layer system here, hitting your pumps. And that's what's exciting here. After that, another exciting one, Yerba Santa, and this is 400 milligrams. Now, there are some, there is a bit of research. This ingredient can actually increase energy expenditure. So we've never seen it in a weight loss application, but that's really not why it's generally here. It is also used because it can improve like bronchodilation, breathing, anti-inflammation in the lungs type of situation. And so you get, I love these. Like I've, I've talked about these types of ingredients on the channel a bunch of times. Like I like to swim with these types of ingredients, like doing cardio. Now this isn't exactly a cardio supplement because well, there's gonna be a lot of pumps involved. But if you're doing uh, exercises where you kind of get winded, your Santa is the kind of ingredient that might help you, uh, let's just say, collect more oxygen and oxygenate your cells a little better, which could increase uh, performance. So that's kind of what we're going for here. I, I get really excited about these types of ingredients. After that, we have our caffeine blend. So 300 milligrams of caffeine, I already talked about that, and then lower down the Zoom XR, 150 milligrams of extended release caffeine. One thing I wanna note, I think behind me, I do, I have a, I have a, I tell about boom here. I was on a business trip and I drank a lot of boom, which has a similar type of caffeine blend and I didn't sleep very well. So make sure that you realize that the extended release caffeine will last longer. And if you're doing this like past like 6 p.m. like I did that night, it wasn't the, uh, the best idea. So just know that you have a little bit of extended release caffeine here and it's more extended release caffeine than was in the original harness. After that, we are now down to the VasoDrive AP. Now this is yet another pump ingredient, but it works on the opposite end by preventing vasoconstriction. This is an ACE inhibitor. The ACE enzyme is actually vasoconstrictive, tightening the uh, vascular stru structures. There are some milk protein isolates inside of VasoDrive AP that actually diminish that response. So now we're playing a little bit of defense here. Citrulline
Vaseline and nit- uh, nitrosamine are offense. Vasodrive AP are defense. And if you haven't noticed from stuff that Doug Miller likes to formulate, he likes Vasodrive AP a lot. And we even talked about it on the Arnold Expo floor in a different interview where he's talking about adding more Vasodrive to other things as well. So this is like a Doug Miller favorite and Doug Miller being the co-owner of Arms Race Nutrition alongside of Julian Smith. Next up, we have 250 milligrams of City Choline. This is the choline source of choice for Arms Race Nutrition. It seems like it's also in the regular harness as well. And so City Choline is the, the choline source that helps your body produce more acetylcholine. We call it the learning neurotransmitter all the time. Helps with memory formation. Choline's also, it's, a, it's an essential B vitamin. It's also important for maintaining cell structure and cell viability and everything. Now, there's going to be some arguments about dosage here. And in my opinion, first off, City Choline, this is my anecdotal side here. City Choline is like the, the form of choline that is the one I've always felt the most. And the, the studies show that it can increase dopamine. And I think that's kind of what I'm feeling when I take it. The question is like really the dosage. 250 milligrams is not a huge dose, but we're starting to see that maybe too much isn't always a good thing. And there's some, you know, there's some research coming out criticizing alpha GPC in certain demographics. And I don't want to like get into drugs or uh, like disease claims or anything, but I think high dose choline, where we're talking about taking like 1800 milligrams a day and stuff, I don't think we're going to be doing as much of that anymore. It seems like there's like an overflow at some point. And I like the, the, the lower city choline dose, 250 milligrams, not even that low. We've seen lower 250 milligrams enough to like get a little bit of a pop, a little extra focus, but not enough to like concern me with what we saw in the alpha GPC study. So that's kind of where I'm at right now with, with that LF ATP, 150 milligrams. Now this is, that is the clinical dose of LF ATP, which has been shown to increase power and performance. It is not the same as ATP. LF ATP is actually a blend. And in the blog, we have a screenshot from a study showing, you know, what the constituents of LA ATP are. And they're from a 2013 study. So hopefully they kept the ingredients the same, but there's like a lot of stuff like uh, apicatechins and things like that, that come from these fruit extracts. This is from ancient peat and apple extract. This has been shown to help your body create its own ATP levels. We are not applying external ATP with LF ATP. We are helping your body produce more of its own ATP better. And and that's what that's what the studies have shown it effectively does. Whereas peak ATP, for instance, is actually just giving your body ATP exogenously. So they both have their places, but L of ATP is not ATP. It helps your body make ATP. And then that can then go on to increase uh, strength and performance because ATP is the cell's energy currency. Then finally, Cognatic, which is the coffee fruit extract, focusing on BDNF, brain-derived neurotrophic factor, and helping to improve, uh, once again, like synaptic response, memory formation, long-term potentiation. This is, and what we always say anecdotally is that it just seems like a feel-good ingredient. There's always this, like, it kind of just puts every pre- work out like a half point higher on the field scale. And so that's why we're big fans of Cognatic. Now, if it doesn't sound familiar, it's because it was called Neurofactor beforehand. After that, finally, we have to play a little bit of defense for our choline source, and that's Huperzine A. That is an acetylcholine esterase inhibitor. You have an enzyme that's going to break down your acetylcholine, and now we are down-regulating that to try to keep your acetylcholine around just a little bit longer so you can keep that focus going during the workout. Overall, Harness Evolution really does a good job with like fully compliant ingredients. You got a caffeine blend, you got lots of pumps, you got a double dose of beta alanine. Seriously, you have a fantastic orange cream style flavor that Julian didn't even know about. This flavor is really, really good. I can't imagine too many people not liking it unless you really don't like orange. I guess not everyone wants an orange creamsicle kind of pre-workout, but I think it's fantastic. Really good job on the formulation. It was great seeing Arms Race Nutrition at the 2023 Arnold, and we're looking forward to what they do again uh, coming up soon because those foundation bars are good. Like they're they're firing on all like all cylinders. So that's it. Check out price.com slash arms dash race dash nutrition. I know it was a long video, but hey, it's a big label. So thanks for watching.